Hey, what's up guys? It is me again, and I'm uh, going to go over a review of the Tank Trooper. And so it's been a minute since I've posted any costume videos, and I've been working on a couple Tank Troopers, actually. And so I've gotten one broken down right here for everybody, so when we're looking at the ind individual pieces, uh, you can see how I strapped them up and how I made them, and then kind of how it all goes together. I'll throw a couple pictures up right here. And uh, that'll be kind of how how it looks when everything is being warm. But uh, again, this is just kind of my own method of making making things work. I'm not a professional costumer. I'm just somebody who kind of does it for fun. But so starting with the um, the boots and the shin pieces, those are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, those that's exactly what they look like. The boots you can get from ImperialBoots.com. Um, they are they're fairly awesome boots. Um, they ship from China, so right now with the uh, the Wuhan virus going on, it's it's uh, <laughs> kind of iffy. But their their shop on social media is going wide open, and uh, they're a great great boot company to go for. Um, weathering, just run it through the mud if you if you're if you're a natural weather or uh, or you know mix some blacks and some some browns together that's what I did I mixed my blacks and browns together and uh, everything looks in my opinion pretty pretty muddy like you just got through operating a, a tank <laughs> so um, that's that's pretty much it for the boots for the shins we'll actually go over to the shins over here and we'll break them down Barney style. So the shins themselves, the uh, the rubber pieces, these are all attached from some screws on the inside. Now that's how I did it. It seemed to work pretty well. Um, it just the the rubber didn't stick to the ABS at all, and so I had to use a bit of a outside the box thinking method for that. And that's what I came up with. I came up with the uh, the screws and. So far, they work pretty well. They're pretty resilient. Uh, they, they still flex a good bit. I don't know if you can see that at all, but they're flexing just a little bit. Um, but I haven't had any problems with them so far. And if so, I mean, if, if they come out, you just well, simply just screw them back in. So that's the shins. One cool piece to note on the shins is the uh, the way that I guess if you call it the shin guard right right here so the shin guard is held off by foam and if the camera will focus decently enough so the foam pretty much keeps the shin guard off of the shin itself and lots of hot glue lots of uh, e6000 and it, it's actually held in place pretty pretty well I mean I would I've uh, I've knelt down on on this itself right here and uh, it, it's held up just just fine. So the the way the foam works works out fantastic. Um, same same method for this foam is on the underside of uh, of this ridge right here. Uh, lots of E6000, lots of hot glue, and uh, the same screw method right there. All right, so jumping back into the abdomen piece, um, probably without a doubt the coolest piece in my opinion, um, just because of the way that the uh, the colors go together, the blacks, the whites, and of course the ammo box here. Um, so I kind of had a bit of a trouble troublesome time with my ammo boxes um, because any hinge that I found would hinge this way, where they wouldn't hinge out. And so, you know, you kind of want it to hinge out when your leg is moving, you know, when, when you're taking a step. So, unfortunately, mine broke, and I used a just a piece of strap, uh, kind of a rubber strap, and now, guess what? They they move out. 
Um, they're they're affixed pretty tightly to the top ammo box, so you know it kind of looks it, it still looks natural. Um, but uh, if you're gonna glue them together, just know that you're gonna have a bit of reduced mobility from those two ammo boxes right there. But in my opinion, this is the coolest piece just because it has the belt um, as well as the uh, the cool paint job on the abdomen piece. Now, so how does it go together? Pretty cool. So as you can see right here, uh, this is a zipper. And the zipper is held with some, some stretchy fabric. So if you get fat, <laughs> you get skinny, uh, you can adjust all of that. And it's covered up in the back by a just, just a, a flat piece of ABS but it's uh, I think it's called like a kidney piece or something something similar to that um, and that is the abdomen, abdomen piece it's uh, it's got a couple cutouts right here um, but that's where your chest would kind of your chest piece would sit kind of on top of it like if I can get it to cooperate with me like so and uh, that's where your arms would rest so you kind of want that to cut out so it doesn't look like it's it's poking you up in the armpits but all right so now let's jump to the chest uh, the chest beast super kind of self-explanatory also uh, let's see if we can get back here chest boxes the way that I did the strapping just had a uh, piece of fabric there um, ran a stretchy piece of fabric right there down through the ammo box velcro and uh, and attached it that way and same goes for the other side when it comes to the, uh, the the rubber strap, I actually made two cutouts right here. So I slit that, uh, shoved this through. So I, as you can see, kind of underneath, it's it's, it's coming through, and uh, so that actually held holds it in place pretty well. Um, this this raised piece right here uh, is a uh, second piece of ABS plastic that I glued uh, glued pretty much holding this, locking it in place. Um, other than that, lots of Velcro, just lots of Velcro. That's, that's the name of the game with costuming, and, and that's pretty much the name of the game here too. So with this piece, screws help holding the Velcro on. Uh, when you're wearing it, it's not a problem at all, uh, and, it, and it looks pretty flush, it looks pretty like it like it ought to, to go there um, for this piece right here this is a kind of a special specially purchased piece I was gifted this particular stuff I'm not sure where to get this um, but the forums I'm sure we're sure we'll have that and show that let's see here what else is noteworthy on that um, there's a there is a cutout a physical cutout right here. We just have that backed with some black, um, and then the weathering itself, just you know, spicing it up, splotching it up how you like it. And finally, to the helmet. Uh, I love the helmet. The helmet is probably the coolest looking looking piece to the puzzle, and uh, I don't know. It's one of my favorite helmets for sure taking it off underneath we can see that it's, it's just a whole bunch of foam in there with a uh, with a lens Let's see if we can... so I mean as you can see there's there's a whole not a whole lot of, uh, of looking out of uh of, of this helmet at all um but it's not so bad it's it's not too bad once you actually get to wearing it and uh and, and put everything else that's on the uh the usb connection this is 
this is, this is my, my handiwork there. Um, that's for a fan, and it, uh, it'll definitely keep you cool, even maybe not in Arizona, but uh, it'll keep you cool at least in Georgia. Um, and that is that's pretty much it, minus the hands and uh, the, the forearms, which are, again, kind of, kind of self-explanatory. Those, uh, those, are, those are all the major pieces to the tank trooper. And uh, if you have a question about it, have a particular problem or, or troublesome piece, please give me a heads up or give me a shout in the description, and I'll try to answer you as best as I can. Other than that, thank you guys for watching.